Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today I wanted to talk about a question I saw on LinkedIn, which I thought was really good. The question was, is data science tech? And so when I first thought about that, my first inclination is, you know, like, no, it's definitely not tech. Um, but then I started reading the comments and I started seeing some of the, I guess I'm gonna call them leading data scientists on LinkedIn. So those that are quite vocal, uh, whether they work at, you know, big companies or they're just proponents of data science, they're all arguing that no, it's technology. And so I started thinking about this like, well, maybe it's technology, maybe it's not technology. And the thing is, is like, how do you figure this out? I mean, it doesn't necessarily need to be bucketed and categorized as, you know, tech or non-tech. But from a perspective of most data scientists, I can see where they're coming from on the fact that it's technology. Um, that being said, because the thing is, is they're using it solely in a tech industry kind of setting. So they're using it for like image recognition, uh, they're using it to solve different unique problems, but the reality is they're taking a bunch of data um, and then they're processing it you know, using different algorithms and essential different methods for machine learning and then they're generating results. So in their mind, you know, it's just data, technology, some algorithms, so it's computer science. That's really what I see it as is like, well, so it's computer science then, right? Because you're using algorithms. But then you start thinking about like, well, data science uses some statistics too. And I know this is something I'm having a hard time grappling with personally, is that for statistics, uh, it has to have inference, like, you know, when this increases by X amount of units, then this increases by X amount of units. So therefore, when X happens, Y occurs. Um, so me, I start thinking about these, like, what's the value added for statistics? Because it has all this intellectual insight onto how things work. But a lot of times with data science, it's just data fitting. There's not as much conceptual soundness around data science, like there's not an inference link there. And I think this is where I'm getting like kind of foggy in this and I'm gonna keep pushing through and figure out exactly how these things function, when best to use different methods. But the thing is, is that data science isn't statistically driven or based. You're using like logistic, you know, a sigmoidal curve. It's like a logistic regression and a tan age. Um, there's different methods that are being used to help kind of, you know, get to the solution. But I think there's this big disconnect a lot of times uh, conceptually. So how do you interpret the results? And that's one of the big struggles for the finance industry is, you know, you use some method and you get some result, but what does that really mean? How does that relationship happen? Um, can you use this model? Can you tweak different parameters, do scenario analysis and like stress testing to get some other result? And so when I start looking at this in a finance perspective and not a tech perspective, I think the thing is, is that for me, it looks like, well, it's just a tool. Like, yeah, you know, Microsoft built Excel. It's a tech program, right? It's software, software development. But the thing is, is we're using that tool in a business setting and it's predominantly used in business. And yeah, it's used all over the place in academia, you know, in different fields. But the reality is, is that businesses are really using Excel as a tool. And so for me, I'm looking at this like, okay, you know, I'm a financial engineering background. I think I'm a quant. I like to do analytics. I work in the finance industry. You know, I've done marketing analytics. So I've done other types of analytics. I've worked in businesses. And so for me, I start looking at these, like these are just tools. Like using an OLS regression is statistics, but it's a tool I use to do risk management or it's a tool I use to predict uh, marketing trends and strategies. And so I'm starting to look at data science and thinking it's not technology. I just personally, I don't think it's technology. I think it's just one more tool. But then you come down to the classification problem of is it technology? Is it data science? Like what is this thing? And I think this comes back somewhat to my other background of financial engineering and a lot of quantitative finance realms, which is um, what is financial engineering? I mean, you see a lot of business students thinking like, oh yeah, I wanna be a financial engineer, I do quantitative finance, I did time value of money, I built financial models, and then you have people that actually go to financial engineering programs and they look at you and they're like, no, that, that, that's not financial engineering, that's not even close to quantitative analytics. Um, and so it's kind of this paradigm of like financial engineering in itself is just a tiny fraction of finance, it's being applied to finance, but the vast majority of financial engineering is computer science, mathematics, and statistics. So it's like, what is this field? Is it really a field? Is it really a topic? Is it really a tool or a methodology to analyze unique problems? Um, I don't know, right? It's kind of difficult to kind of sort that out. And so financial engineering and quant was kind of its own space. 
And now that we're moving into like this data science question, what is data science? Uh, I think a lot of data scientists are focusing solely on the tech side of it. Like they just want to implement, implement, implement. And they're all they care about is Python and TensorFlow and you know H2O AI. And they all want these tools and they want to just run data through and get like solutions and answers. They want to solve these problems. But I think part of this problem is that you guys are ignoring, a lot of you are ignoring uh, the statistics, right? Where's the statistics? So you still have to have the statistics, um, the computer science side, I guess data you can call your own, but I lump that as essentially it's a computer science topic. Um, and then you also have like your field. So do you have finance? Do you have marketing? Do you have biomedical uh, analysis? Like what, what are you putting into this? You have to have some topic, something you're studying. And so I think financial engineering uh, is very, very advanced in the fact that it uses high-end mathematics, so stochastic calculus, things that are very uh, pertinent to like the physics realm. So it's very more quantitative, I think, than data science on its own. I think data science and financial engineering are having this issue where it's not necessarily its own field. It's just, I think, a different approach of looking at problems, but it's also combining a group of fields. So math, finance, statistics, you know, all these different topics and merging them together to something that's usable as a tool for industry practitioners to solve different problems in different industries. So personally, I don't think it's tech at all. I think it's more like a field of study like math, statistics, but I think more or less it's a conglomerate study. I don't really think it's its own field. So those are my opinions. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to see if you guys think it's tech. Is it something else? Is it statistics? Like what is it? Uh, I think it's a good topic. Um, I was actually quite taken back that so many data scientists uh, full heartedly just pledged into it being uh, technology. But anyways, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Thanks for watching my videos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, until next time.